Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you haven't met before and today's video is just going to be kind of, I don't even know really how to describe it, but as you can probably tell from the title, um, it's definitely going to be worth a listen so keep on watching. to my channel you've been watching my videos because if you've been watching my videos then why aren't you subscribed yet you have been watching my videos then you probably know that I am a senior this year and I don't know it's just kind of hit me that I'm going to be graduating high school in like a month like what <laughs> I can't like I can't even I can't, oh my god, I can't even, like, I've been waiting for this moment for so long that I actually can't believe it's actually here. I'm just, y'all gotta be patient with me because, like I said, it just kind of just sunk in, like, yesterday <laughs> that I am graduating and I'm going to be, uh, even though I'm not going to a college, um, I'm still starting college work. And I'm like, this is crazy. And I'm, <laughs> update, um, I'm getting my license in June. Again, what? But <laughs> I can't, I cannot even. Um, so yeah, a lot of new exciting things. Um, so I just wanted to really kind of say this because, you know, like I guess I've been looking forward to my graduation ever since I probably knew what a graduation, high school graduation was. I have been so excited, like literally could not wait until this day and now it's here but it's nothing like I expected it and I don't necessarily mean that in the best way. Um, the place where we were going to do graduation, um, I homeschool so we do it with like a homeschool kind of thing. Um, but they they usually so they usually have like a cotillion thing it's like a dance um and i so enjoyed it so much when i went to my brother's graduation and i could not wait i was so looking forward to it this year but because of you know what they canceled it and it also canceled the talent show so it's you know and i'm like and then there's been speakers that, ha that aren't going to be able to come. And pretty much, I feel like that's kind of all there really is going to be now. is just speakers and a graduation ceremony. So, and I just figured all that out <laughs> last night. Um, so I've just been really kind of bummed, I guess you could say. Um, I just, like... You know, you kind of have that image, um, at least for me, I don't know. I just kind of always, like, imagine things, like, in my head, um, like, of how things are going to turn out. I guess this is a control freak in me, but I always, like, kind of, like, picturing things in my mind, like, how things are going to go out. And every single time, it never, it never happens. I guess that's just, like, God's way of trying to show me that uh, I'm not the one in control and I can't make the plans because he's the one that directs my path so yeah I guess that is part of it um so you know and there's just been a lot of change going on and I really wanted to reach out to not just you also who are seniors but to my freshmen my sophomore my junior I want to reach out to you guys and I really kind of I'm not really just kind of saying this is an update, like, for me, my graduation. But I just kind of want to just give you guys some encouragement. Because, like I said, for you seniors, senior year is about to end. And you're about to go to college. Even if you are maybe one of the few that are doing online, it's still going to be something new. So, it's definitely a lot of change. And I know that has been happening so much. Um, the people last year that had to graduate that didn't get a graduation. Um, 
just so much ever since last year that has just told us how things can just change in an instant. I mean, you know, you see how just one virus from across the globe affected every single person and it's just, it's just, it's crazy. There's so much that has been going on, but at the same time, there hasn't been a lot going on, if you know what I mean. Um, so it's just, you know, it's a lot of change. And, you know, in every year, for every graduating senior, it's always that thing about change. And there always been change. But I think with those who graduated in 2020 and those who are about to graduate, like me, in 2021, I feel like there's even more of that, like, fear of, like, the changing that's going on because we don't know about the whole, like, pandemic thing. Like, we don't know. And it's, I feel like that kind of, that anxiety that you kind of get from that. Um, but I just really want to kind of reach out to you, to y'all to that are, like, seniors in high school and anywhere from freshmen, juniors, seniors, all of y'all. Because it can be a hard thing. And I want, and kind of the whole topic that I kind of want to talk about is about change. Because, you know, like I said, yesterday was when, yesterday was when I heard about all the things that weren't going to happen at my graduation. And I'm not going to lie, I was very irritable last night because that was literally all I could think about. It's just how everything I'd imagined, even, you know, knowing about COVID, I was like, well, at least we'll get this. At least, at least they'll have the dance. I haven't canceled that yet because the talent show was the first thing that I found out that got canceled. So, then that happened, I was just like, you know, and it just really bummed me because it's like, okay, well now I really feel like there's really nothing to look forward to. I actually literally told myself, I said, at this point, like, I'm not even looking forward to it. And it made me sad to even say that because it was something I've been looking forward to for so long. I mean, I've been looking forward to this like I said most of my life I mean I couldn't wait to graduate <laughs> couldn't wait I had this whole vision and finding friends and family and all that and now it's even it's even less likely and so it's just really I'm you know I'm not trying to downplay it. all the people that graduated last year that didn't get a graduation um but I kind of feel like you know with all that like for me personally, just having to kind of experience that. And honestly, I can imagine if I was to graduate last year and not have a graduation, I, you know, and that's kind of the thing I've been trying to tell myself is at least I am graduating. Um, but honestly, when I was, at that point, I just didn't even care because I was like, you know, there's nothing that's, there's nothing that's going on. And, you know, it just kind of makes me sound like might as well just not even show up for all the conference kind of stuff they were going to have, like, might as well just wait to show up on the Saturday I graduate and just do it, but, you know, and, I'm, and I listened last night when I was getting ready for bed, um, the podcast, it's by The Daily Grace Co., and they, I love their stuff, love their products, love their podcasts, um, <clears throat> sorry, ignore me, my <clears throat> voice, I've been talking all day at work, so. If I sound all bad, <laughs> that's why. I don't remember what I was saying. What was I like even saying? I <laughs> so with graduation and all that, and it just really, you know, because I was listening to a podcast and it was, and I was looking through it, and I saw the one about change, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I think I kind of need this right now. So I listened to it, and you know, and it was talking about like how things all like. How, like how to adapt kind of change and that kind of thing and it was a really good podcast like I said I will I definitely recommend it and I will definitely link it in the description box below so go check that out because it was a really good podcast to listen to and it really I was listening to that and it really kind of showed me you know what it's yes it is sad that the things that I was so many things I was looking forward to 
are happening to me, things that I want to do that I can't do, and it's definitely sad, but to kind of, but it also reminds me that even though everything around me for like the past year has been <clears throat> has been changing and everything has just kind of been all over the place it's I really felt like the Lord's really in my heart you know even though everything else is changing he still remains constant even though the whole world around me seems like it's falling apart and I, I honestly believe I'm not the only one that feels that way um, just with everything going on it just really it's really easy to focus on that to really focus on to really focus on like you know the fact that God is still there like he hasn't left me even though I personally feel like everything's changed, nothing, I mean, I look back at, like, 2019, and I'm like, I don't even know what's all been going on since the end of 2019. It's just been one huge catastrophe, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, to kind of think about, like, he's always constant, you know, it says, um, you know, God never changes, that he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. There's there's nothing else in the world that remains constant like that. Everything, I mean, you could say just like, well, the universe, the earth in general, like, no, even that's deteriorating. Like, there is nothing that remains constant that's the same, this exact same yesterday. Now, it must mean yesterday, like, just, like, the other day. But yesterday is just anywhere in the past, the present, right now. And anywhere in the future and that just really stuck out with me because like I said feeling like everything's changed I had all these expectations for graduation graduate what okay just ignore my terrible English um, but graduation and it's been you know and it was like it was hard and I was like you know what God is constant, and He's the one that I should be holding on to, not to expectations, not to anything in this world, but to be holding on to Him. And I kind of think, started to think of it actually just now, um, kind of thought of like this analogy, I guess. So, people always say, you know, like the eye of the storm, and I kind of think about, you know, in the, like, I was always told, you know, like the eye of the, like, in the eye of the storm, it's like the calmest part. It's when it's like everything's still. And, you know, there's not, like, you know, mainly, like, I think, like, hurricanes and everything. But, like, the eye of, like, that hurricane is, like, when it's still. So, when there's, like, no trees blowing, it's, like, just a stillness. And that's kind of... And you said it's not a good thing in a storm. But, in this case, it is a good thing. Um, for the analogy I'm using. But, when you're standing in, like, when you're in that middle of the storm, there's all this, you know, like, for example, hurricane. It's all that wind damage, like, like sometimes like <laughs> close to like 60, 70, some mile per hour winds. Um, it's, I mean, it's just crazy. And there's so much going on outside of that. But then when you're in that eye of the storm, there's just that stillness. And that's where I want to be. I don't want to be caught up in all the wind and in all the debris flying everywhere, so to speak. Everything just is going wild and crazy. I want to be in the eye of the storm. I want to be in that stillness where, you know, everything else is chaotic around me. But I want to be holding on to God and remain in that eye of the storm where it's still. Because, you know, the Bible says, you know, be still and know that He is God. And that's what I want to do. And I really had kind of just thought that, like, for my analogy. But that's definitely something that I want to do is just really remain still. I want to focus on God, and even though everything else is changing around me, I don't have to get caught in that whirlwind, whirl, what? Whirlwind, I guess is what I'm saying. I'm, just, like I said, just ignore, ignore my terrible English, um, but to be caught in that whirlwind of emotions and anxiety, and to instead just hold on 
to God because he does, like I said, he remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I want to hold on to that. I want to hold on to him. He remains constant. I don't, you know, in 2020, 2021, all that has really shown that you make plans, you make expectations, but only the Lord knows what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. And there's nothing that we can do to try to, like, make sure that, like, what we expect or what we hope for will actually happen. We just have to, we just have to trust God. And that's, again, that's kind of, you know, I'm talking about being in that eye of the storm. I want to trust God. And, you know, for, again, talking to my seniors, there is a lot of change that's going to come. A lot of you aren't like me. A lot of you are going on campus and a lot of you, a lot of you are going to have to face new experiences, um, be around new people. If you're like me, I'm half intro, I'm like half extrovert, half introvert. I don't even know. I used to be extremely extroverted as a kid. Then as y'all said some testimony about how I became extremely introverted and now I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, <laughs> it's been crazy. Anyways, um, but yeah, so I have just had so much that just really, I mean, like I said, it's crazy because, I mean, you're going to have to be around new people and in new environment. And for me, when I'm around, not just, like, I can be around, like, if I know a lot of people and there's a new person, I seem pretty outgoing to that new person. But when I'm a new person in a new place, new environment, I'm extremely introverted. And it's, and so, you know, I would definitely, if I was going to go on campus or whatever, I would definitely be so introverted because, I mean, I, like, I try to be energetic around people, but I also need my alone time to kind of recharge, if you know what I mean. So it's just really, you know, it's, it's so much change. And, you know, for me, it's not going to be as much change. I mean, I still got my job. Um, I still am going to be at home. <laughs> I'm going to, but, you know, it's still going to be this, that change. I mean, just me getting my license is going to be change. And it's just, it's, and, you know, it's not even just that, but, you know, just the stuff you know, that comes with, you know, a pandemic. Like, all that stuff that kind of goes on, all things going on in the world. And it's easy to get caught up in the noise. If you know what I mean, it's easy to get caught up in, I mean, you watch all the news, you get all this feedback, all these different opinions, um, and you're just like, what is going on right now? So it's really easy to get caught up in that. But you have to, that's why it's so important to make sure you step out of that. Step into that eye of the storm where it's still and really meet God in that stillness. Don't try to, you know, even... You know, when you do go into college for your seniors, you go to college, make sure you don't get caught up in all this, in all like the school stuff and jobs, all that. Be sure to have that time and really remain in that eye of the storm. Meet God there and just hold fast to Him. Don't get caught up in everything that's going on in the world around you because it's meaningless. Don't let that distract you. Don't let that distract you. You know, and when it comes to making good grades, don't let just that upset, like, I don't want to call it obsessive, but like, kind of for some people it is like an obsession, but you know, don't let that whole desire of like, I've got to make good grades stress you out and give you such anxiety. Like, you, like, you know, do your best by all means. I'm not saying don't try, like do your best, but you know, don't be so hard on yourself because there's some classes that aren't going to be easy. There will be classes that you might struggle with and you might make some C's. But that's okay. Like, don't, and even some B's. Because some people may think, oh, B's not bad. Other people think a B is terrible. So, you know, don't think that. Um, do your best in all you do. And whether it's in school or no matter where it is. Just do your best in everything you do and trust it to God. Like I said, meet God in that stillness and that and listen. Sometimes you don't always have to do the talking. You just have to sit there and just listen. Sometimes when I'm in my prayer time, 
Sometimes I'm just, just do I just close my eyes and I just kind of just sit there. Like, I don't know, this may sound weird, but um, <clears throat> I just sit there and I just kind of think, you know, just like think on God, just think about all his goodness, all the things that he's done, just to have that stillness because there's so much noise flashing in our faces, so much noise going on all around us and it's just, it, it is overwhelming and I don't believe that we were made to have to deal with that. I really don't and I honestly, I feel like, you know, so many stuff that's going on we weren't meant to deal with and that's why we have to make sure we are in that stillness and not caught up in the wind that's going on all around us. So, like I said, and to my, and to my fellow um, freshmen, sophomore, juniors, all of you guys, I really just want to talk to you guys now specifically because I know what it's like and I've been there where I'm like, you know what, I can't wait till senior year, I can't wait to graduate because that was me, okay? That was me. And I, I mean, I wanted, you know, to graduate. I wanted to do um, you know, I couldn't wait because, you know, school work, I was working on it, I was late at night, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to graduate, I want to, like, I just want to move past this, and don't rush it, like, I'm, like, I'm, I rushed it, like, you don't even know, but, um, you know, do your best, and, you know, don't, don't be so caught up in always trying to plug into the future, because that is something that I struggle with, I couldn't wait to turn 16. Then when I turned 16, I was like, oh, I can't wait to turn 18. And now I'm 18. I'm like, well, here we are. So, you know, don't rush it. And enjoy it. Find joy in the little things that go on. And just like I said, find God in that stillness. And praise Him even though you may not understand what's going on. Praise Him even though things may seem crazy and things may not exactly things may not exactly be going your way things may not be meeting your expectations this could be even in a relationship it doesn't have to be boyfriend girlfriend relationship but just any relationship where you set expectations and when they're not met and then you get kind of offended because you know well you were supposed to have done this and you didn't do that so now i'm mad that you didn't do that even though it was my expectation of what you should have done and you know, we let that often kind of get in the way. And so, again, I just really want to encourage you guys from, you know, from a senior to seniors, from a senior telling the younger group, don't get so caught up in all the good grades, trying to do, trying to be perfect. Because, again, that's me. I'm the girl that always wants to be perfect. Um, you know, and don't get so caught up in that. Because we weren't made to be perfect. Because if we were perfect, then we wouldn't need God. And we wouldn't need a Savior, by any means. <laughs> um, so just, you know, so be sure to really hold on to God. Let Him guide you through this. Don't get so caught up in the noise. If you're somebody you know, that maybe watches the news a lot, um, or you follow maybe a lot of people, even if they're friends, um, on Instagram or whatever, that always get like political arguments or this like just kind of avoid it don't get so caught up and there's some people that are you know that can do it and that's great but if you're one of those people like me that gets really angry at all this stuff going on don't listen to it don't it's okay you don't have to listen to it don't you know follow and i kind of have to do this kind of clean out my instagram i guess kind of, you know, people that are always talking about politics and all this kind of stuff. I mean, there's very few people that I follow that are po that are political. I mean, there's like maybe two, okay? There's like maybe two people. Um, but I mean, I don't follow them. They're hardly ever so on my feet. So, you know, it's just, I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't follow it because that's not really what I want to fill my mind with. Because, and I replace it with following Christian accounts that don't talk about politics or anything like that they just you know get like bible verses that kind of thing because that is what i want to fill my mind with 
and we think about how much time we spend on like Instagram and all this stuff that gets fed to us. That's why it's called feed, okay? <laughs> all the stuff that gets fed to us through it and it can shape our worldview, it can shape our attitude, it can shape so much of who we are because we spend so much time on it. So make sure that who you follow, what you follow, what you listen to, what you read, make sure that it is something that's going to draw you to God, draw you to that stillness with Him. So that is my encouragement to you guys. Um, don't rush it. <laughs> don't try to rush it and don't try to set, I'm not saying don't have any expectations for anything. I'm not saying that. There's a difference, I feel like, between expectation and a standard. And I don't know, I might do, if you want me to do a video on that, let me know. Um, I will do that for you guys. Uh, if you just want like a little like story video on like expectations versus like a standard, like kind of what's the difference or whatever, um, let me know below. I will be happy to do that for you. Um, but yeah, so I just really want to encourage you guys because I know this is a weird season that we're in. Um, so I just want to encourage you guys and I really just want to want you guys to kind of have, you know, from like a senior, you know, I want you guys to enjoy the moment that you're in. And, you know, thank God that, you know, at least you're graduating. You know, just be grateful for the little things, even if it does seem little and your expectations aren't getting met. That's, you know, still hold on to God, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And He doesn't change because of some virus or anything like that. So, praise praise God for that. And just really, really meet Him in that stillness. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's kind of long. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you... Um, really got something out of it. Um, I know it was kind of like out everywhere a couple times, but I hope that it encouraged you all and that, I don't know, you feel more confident going into college or just going into your next year of high school, whatever it is. I just really hope that you guys are encouraged and, um, I will see you guys next week. I, I'm... I know I said this last time and I ended up skipping one because I just wasn't doing well. Um, I kind of updated you guys on my Instagram story. So follow me on Instagram to stay updated um, on YouTube videos and all that. But also be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss another video. And if you did enjoy this video, it would be, it would make my day if you gave it a like. And yeah, so new videos are every Friday at 3 p.m. And like I said, if there isn't, I will update you on my Instagram. Since it's so important, go follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys next week. Y'all have a wonderful week.